Hi everyone, this is Danielle from Monopoly Plan. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you are returning, it is great to see you guys. Welcome back. Today is going to be a monthly plan with me for the month of March in my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. All right, so a quick look back at the month of February. I didn't add too much to this. I did add in a few things. Some uh, dining out thing was added here. I added the seasonal surprise box. We had some picture day and eye appointments that were added in. But other than that, I didn't really use my sidebar too much, just a little bit. I want to try to utilize that more this month. But the month of February, there were a few things added in, but it still worked great, and I loved having this as a reference. So I went ahead and I got the same thing for the month of March. There is an additional sheet that comes with this. My order with it is not here yet. It was delayed, so I'm just going to have to work with what I have. The extra sheet that I did purchase has more boxes, which I thought I might need for the month of March. March is kind of when things start to pick back up for us. Um, soccer starts back up, at least practices start back up. Games don't start till April, but because practices start back up, life just gets a little bit busier, there's more activities. So I think that I'm going to need the extra boxes. So I will fill in what I can and as things come up, I will use that extra sheet. All right, so top done i love how simple and quick that is i am going to use the date dots again so i'm going to put all of these down all right done and done one thing i was noticing was that at the bottom here typically i feel like i would need to cover up these bottom colors but because this is done this way. The monthlies actually match the bottom color, so I don't have to do anything with it, which is awesome. All right, so the strip washi on the side, I'm actually going to be using probably almost all of it um, during this month. So the first week in March, my husband is actually on call. He's on call once every three months with his job, where if he gets a call for his job, he has to travel throughout the state of Michigan to help fix certain equipment at the hospitals. So he is on call this entire first week, so I'm gonna use this washi for this up here. Let's see if I can make this the same height. It almost fits all the way across. So I'm gonna, I'm going to use a little bit more of this, I think, to go all the way across the week and into the next Sunday because his run Sunday to, or Monday to Sunday so I love having this strip washi in the sheet so I can use it when needed and then a little bit over here because this is the last day of on call so besides this we also start spring break at the end of March so I'm actually going to use part of this down there as well and hopefully I have enough it looks like I might have enough but spring break actually this is the last day of school right here the 26th but then it's this following week so I'm actually gonna put it down here just on these days and that's it my girls are looking forward to spring break but we're not really doing a whole lot I mean there's not a whole lot open. We're not doing a lot of traveling right now. So spring break is just time where they don't have to go to school. So I use all of the washing of the kit except for that little baby part right there. So then I have a ton of boxes. Now I am probably going to use the majority of the boxes this month. There is a lot going on, not just with soccer, but with also with school. So I'm going to put the holidays down first. So I found out that spring begins over here on the 20th, so I'm going to cover this up over there. Actually, you can see through that, so I actually think I'm going to white it out. And I am using the Tombow Correction Tape that I got on Amazon. There's a link in my description below if you're interested. So spring begins there. What else do we have? St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th. I am going to use my white out there too, just because I'm sure you'll be able to see through there as well. 
So St. Patrick's Day is over here. What else do I want to do? Daylight savings time is on the 14th. We spring forward. Not so much fun, but that's fine. Spring forward over on the 14th. And then I think those are the only three that I'm going to probably put on here. So let's look at these paydays. Is the 15th, not the 15th, the 5th, and the 19th. So we'll put those up there. I did this last time and I think it worked okay. I just need to utilize it more. I'm going to pull the important and the don't forget. And I'm going to put these over here. I think I'm going to put the important up there. And the don't forget maybe halfway down or something like that. I don't have any March birthdays. So I'm not going to put any of those. Sick days, hopefully there's not any of those. Work from home, we don't use. No school. Now this is something that I will use. So looking at my girls' schedule, this first week in March, our teachers are actually getting their sex second vaccine. So the third is going to be a half day when they actually get their vaccine. On the fourth, they're supposed to have school, but the school district decided that because the teachers were getting their second vaccine, they expected a bunch of teachers to be not feeling the best the following day, so they actually canceled or are doing a learning at home day on the 4th. So there is not going to be school on the 4th here. They also, weirdly enough this week, do not have school on the 1st because it is their mid-winter break and that's just into their calendar where they don't have school the previous Friday or this Monday. It's like a long weekend. So this first week in March, they have no school on Monday. They go to school Tuesday, they have a half day Wednesday, and then they'd have no school on Thursday. So this week they will only actually have one and a half days of school, which is a little odd, but this school year has been odd, so you can't really do anything about it. All right, so they have a half day there. So just to denote that Sam's on call this week, I think I'm gonna use like one of these little circles from the kit right there, and I'm just gonna write that Sam's on call, Sam is my husband. All right, so some other things that need to go in here. I have a soccer meeting on the 9th, another ASO board meeting at 7 p.m. So I'm gonna put that there. We also have soccer starting in March. So we will have practices on Monday nights. This is what's looking like to be the first day of practice will be Monday nights and the first one will be the 15th and then the 22nd and then we're probably still going to have practice on the 29th even though it's spring break and then whatever players can come can come. If you can't come then that's fine but the actual soccer season starts the first week like after this week in April. So then on the 18th, we have at the school, they have like a school spirit day. This one I think is like wear your favorite college shirt on the 18th. And then another thing is, the um, it looks like the 20th and the 27th, my five-year-old is going to have some practices for soccer. So those will be over here. Again, this is kind of the week of spring break, so just, you know, go to practice if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out really quickly and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and filled everything out and yeah this is how it's looking so far um we're still i'm like filming this in the middle of february this is all i have for now in february but i know that there's a ton more stuff that's going to come in for the Mar month of march in the next couple weeks so left over i have four appointment label boxes one little box down here and that's it for boxes i know that i'm gonna need more than that because there are just things that i just don't have dates for yet that i know are coming in march so this is kind of like a brief overview of what it's going to look like. I have decided that over here this kind of important category is going to be used for like things that are coming the next month. I know that the first week in April is continuation 
um, of spring break. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over here now. I also know that like soccer is coming up and that starts the second week in April. So I'm going to put that in here that Ace of Soccer starts. So things that like come up that I know are going to be coming up for the next month. That's how I'm going to use the important category. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put about in the don't forget category. I may just put that as like a running project list or something. I'm not really quite sure yet. This is what my March has turned out like. I love it. I love the color. This mint color is beautiful and I love that it all kind of color coordinates and that it's not like 10 different colors. It's like a couple different shades of this mint color. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and let me know if you enjoy this content so I know what type of videos you guys would like to see. I really enjoy filming these monthly plan with me's because it really gives me kind of a overview of what my month is going to look like and it helps me plan it out as I'm going. So I this is probably something that I will continue to do on my channel is my monthly plan with me just because it helps me be so much more functional and I might as well share it with you guys. So I hope you guys all have an awesome day. Enjoy your February if you are in Texas. I hope you guys are all doing well. By the time this goes live it will be a couple weeks after the worst of it hopefully. So I hope everybody is recovering by now and that you guys are all well. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.